Okay guys, so this is the Xiaomi.eu It is custom ROM based on you So in this video I will show you how to flash Xiaomi.eu using the fastboot method So we don't need to use the custom recovery Okay, For you guys that love new without the bloatware This is the right firmware And in this video I will show you also how to find the right firmware And how to set up an ADB environment okay in this video we will using the Redmi Note 11 but you can also use another pawn Xiaomi pawn for the Xiaomi.eu so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum Meet again with Om Bob Okay, in this video I will make a short video On how to flash Xiaomi.eu custom ROM on Xiaomi Pawn Okay It's very simple And I'll show you how and how to find the right firmware Okay The first thing you need to do is You want to make sure that your Pawn has been unlocked Okay You can check the Pawn unlock by goes to the additional settings then developer option and if you see something like this the unlock status is unlocked it means that your pawn has been unlocked okay it's very simple you can find on any youtube tutorial on how to unlock xiaomi pawn <coughs> okay in this video <coughs> we, we will using the redmi note 11 based on android 11 Okay, so I'll switch the screen. <clears throat> uh, first thing you want to do is open your browser. Okay, and then just type show me. Okay, it means the European Union. Okay. <clears throat> show me EU is very famous because it based on Mew and it has a small footprint. Okay, it means that it will not get any bloodware on your pawn, but still using the MIUI uh, skin. Okay, as you can see, when I open this one, you will see something like this. <clears throat> and you just need to hit the Mew ROM release. And it will show you the Mew version, okay, the Mew 13, 12, 11, 10, and other stuff, okay. <coughs> the, the Mew version is, uh, usually the newer version just support the new pawn, okay. Because we're using the Redmi Note 11, we're going to use the Mew 13, okay, just hit, hit the Mew 13. And it has several versions, okay. Like 21.7, 21.76, blah blah blah. Okay, <clears throat> for simple tips, just hit uh, just select the stable release. Okay, it's better than the other. Select the stable release, and you will see something like this. Okay, this is the download link, and this is the code name. Okay, like the Poco M3, the code name is Citrus, and the ROM name is Poco M3. Okay. Uh let me note eight. HM note eight. Okay, let's try to find our Redmi Note eleven. We're going to use the source forge. Okay, just open this one. And it will show you lots of file. Okay, our Redmi Note eleven. The code name is space and spation and the ROM name is HM not eleven. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try to find it. HM not eleven. Okay, this one. And this is the ROM that we needed. Okay, this is based on Facebook ROM. It means that we cannot flash from the custom recovery, but we can flash it from the 
best boot mod okay you can see right here uh hm not 11 hm not 11 is redmi not 11 okay all you need to do is just hit the link and it will download the file okay but because we already have the file we don't have to i don't have to download it you can see in here i already have the firmware all you need to do is just open it using the 7-zip winner or other stuff <clears throat> and then extract to all folder okay i have extract in here and you will have several options if you using linux you can use this one this is for mac os and this is for windows okay and for windows we have two options the first install and update okay the question is what is the difference maybe we'll ask okay this is the summarize first one is windows fastboot first install if you install the xiaomi.eu for the first time okay so basically it will wipe all the data so make sure you have backup make a backup if the file is important for you and the second one is windows fastboot update rom <clears throat> it is update from weekly to weekly okay if you want to update for example uh from the mu is it uh from 6.21 uh, sorry from 6.22 to 21 okay but you don't want to lose your data you can always use the Facebook update okay uh the conclusion is it's just if you want to migrate from the global rom or id rom or russia or other stuff or india and this is if you want to operate from another EU version okay it's all guys <clears throat> so because we're using the stock rom we are going to use this one the first install okay and next is you need the adp facebook like this one okay i will include the download link let's open it and extract to all folder okay you can extract anywhere i have extract in here this is needed for the adb and facebook command okay after you extract you need to set up the environment Okay, just go to the explorer this pc right click properties okay then find the advanced system setting right here select the environment variable and in the bottom right here just edit the path okay and add where you have extract the file i have extract in the cadb so just new and paste it and okay okay because i already edit i don't have to edit anymore okay this one and after that finish we're ready to go okay <clears throat> first thing you want to do is go to the facebook mode so turn off the phone and we want to go to the facebook mode <clears throat> as usual facebook mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the uh, power button at the same time okay and then just plug your USB cable <coughs> okay and then let's open the CMD or terminal just select the blank spot hit shift button in the keyboard and right click okay terminal there we go let's check the fastboot connection okay 
now we are connected in the Facebook mode okay as I said before because this, this is the first time for the pawn so we, we will use the Windows Facebook for install okay just type Windows and hit tab okay Windows underscore Facebook for install and hit enter it will ask question you are going to wipe blah 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 okay just hit yes and it will start the process okay it takes times about five uh, sorry four to five minutes and when it finished it will reboot the pawn and you must wait another four minutes for the pawn to boot it into the, into the android home screen okay i will skip this one and it's already done you can see now it's loaded it's reboot the pawn and we must wait for another four minutes okay and here we go now we are in the home screen we need to just okay this is not the home screen this is the android wizard just hit next next until it goes to the home screen okay and here we go now we are in the home screen okay now we we are using the xiaomi that you still the same view but less blood where you can see this is this all the apps that inside the rom without the google kind of stuff okay okay usually it's better than the stock rom and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have a lot of video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum